get our hands dirty and talk about ISTA algorithm and FISTA. ISTA stands for Iterative Shrinkage Thresholding Algorithm and this is just the fast app ISTA which I use, uh, which we use uh, acceleration by momentum. So our goal is minimize f of x which is a sum of a smooth and h of x which is easy prox operator e easy to evaluate prox operator so the subgradient method says that xt plus one is simply xt minus eta g of t where g of t is inside your subdifferential set and the convergence is of order of 1 over square root of t which in other words 1 over epsilon error squared and so the but the proximal gradient method which this is ista we want to use it for a uh, lasso problem. But in general, you write it at xt plus 1 is equal to prox operator eta h xt minus eta gradient of g of xt. So the convergence is improved is order of 1 over t or 1 over over epsilon error. And of course, proximal gradient, proximal gradient plus acceleration, I mean using momentum, acceleration, as a just faster algorithm because the convergence is now of order of 1 over t squared. So we need less steps, order of 1 over square root of epsilon error. And uh, now we can do it for lasso. I mean, the lasso, I mean, the L1 regularized regression is uh, the problem that we use for compressive sensing, uh, model reduction, and many things. And uh, it is simultaneously, we want to reduce, re re shrink and also, I mean, model selection, feature selection, and also do regression simultaneously. So our, this is the argument of ax minus y squared, and plus the regularization term lambda times x1. This is L1 norm. L1 norm, you know, it is the sum of absolute values. i from 1 to p is the number of features. And uh, so x has only s non-zero sparsity in general if you want to, want to do compressive sensing. So we need n measurement, which typically is greater than p. So the problem is in how many measurements do we need? And that's the problem of compressive sensing. But I will not talk about it. We just want to apply subgradient method Subgradient descent has this update. So xt plus 1 is equal to xt minus eta. So the gradient, what is the gradient? Is 280, a transpose, a transpose times axt minus y plus lambda uh, z, where z is your subdifferential that I have written several times that this is 1 if xt, the coordinate of i of xt is greater than, the, than 0, the coordinate of the i, the i th coordinate of xt, if it is less than 1, it is minus 1, and this is the interval minus 1 and 1 if xt coordinate of i is equal to 0. So this is of order of 1 over t 
t or in other words you need number of steps and uh, so let's do it for so this was for subgradient descent now i want to show you what happens to the complexity to the order of complexity when we have when we want to do it for proximal gradient so we will minimize f of x sum of g of x is smooth and h of x is easy to evaluate function so for last problem i said that this is ax minus one squared plus lambda l1 norm of x so the prox gradient algorithm is xt plus one is equal to prox of xt minus eta gradient of g of xt so when eta is uh, one over beta where g is beta smooth i mean the gradient what is beta, uh, g is beta smooth it means that gradient is beta lipschitz so it is the gradient is bounded by beta coefficient so we call it beta lipschitz so xt plus one is equal to arg mean of lambda x one plus beta over two because this is this is one over two eta times x minus xt minus one over beta gradient of g of xt squared so this is equal to arg mean of lambda over beta x1 plus 1 over 2 x minus xt minus 1 over beta gradient of g of xt squared and this is the proximal now we can write it as proximal lambda over beta norm 1 of xt minus eta gxt so it looks more familiar and recall that uh, prox of z is equal to u prox of z of uh, u which is a uh, alpha is a positive constant is u and uh, ui we know that ui is the z i minus alpha plus it means uh, times sine of z i plus means it means it is no less than zero so it's a we call it shrinkage operator and for example if you have uh, alpha is equal to one one point five then and and your z for example is minus 2.5 minus uh, point, point zero and 202 the your prox evaluated as zero is equal to minus one this is zero because it's less than alpha and then and then it's um, point 0.7 and your easter algorithm so so your easter algorithm is you want to evaluate norm one of at point xt minus 280 ax minus y so this is the order of one over t and you know beta uh, i leave it as an exercise for you that beta has some relation to eigenvalues of a transpose a uh, also i want to talk about fista which is the i said prox op prox operator plus acceleration which we use i um, mean the momentum idea and uh, so we want to minimize f of x so first we define mu of zero is equal to 
zero and mu, mu, mu t is equal to one over square root of one over one plus four mu t squared over two and gamma t is equal to one minus mu t uh, mu t plus one and we arbitrarily initialize x1 equal to z1 and zt plus 1 is prox 1 beta h xt minus 1 over beta gradient of g of xt and uh, xt plus 1 is equal to 1 minus gamma t zt plus 1 plus gamma t zt for lasso you know it's zt plus one is now proximal lambda over bt beta norm one of xt minus one over beta gradient of g xt so this one is two eight transpose a xt minus y so the convergence rate is of order of 1 over t squared or we can write is 1 over square root of epsilon error 